Okay, Drew, grab your paddle. We're pinging some pongs. Scott, you and I jumped into the Oculus to play some VR ping pong. Ping pong pro. Nice, we had a great time actually doing this, man. This was a lot of fun. We had some technical glitches at the very beginning until we calibrated our controller and our yeah. settings. So I think that's lent to the fact that this could be played with different kind of VR systems. Yes. So not everybody has the same handhold kind of grips. No, you and I so are on the Oculus. You can change the, the rotation, you can change the pitch of yeah. the paddle, you can move it up and down, and that's all to get it in the right spot for your hand because this game is accurate. It is feeling pretty accurate now that I've calibrated because when I first jumped in, my hand is like this, but the paddle was like almost backwards. Yeah. So you, I was kind of trying to play like that. No, it was weird. <laughs> but once I got it set up and calibrated, man, I felt like I was actually playing ping pong, which was a blast to play. You actually could feel the spin when you hit the paddle with mm -hmm. the ball and stuff. I was really impressed how intuitive the game really was and felt natural to play. It was hard for me to learn, and just like the game itself is. It's a hard sport to kind of get into, but once you get the feel of the light little taps, yeah. then you can start to really play, and that's where it took off. <laughs> I really liked how when we calibrated ourselves, you could have the one Pong paddle in your hand, you have one controller, and the visor. And we even had the Oculus Rift visor was at the right height for yep. me and yourself. It looked like I was standing across the table from you. Yeah, because we played multiplayer. Mm -hmm, which, which was a blast. It was so much fun. It was nice to have because years ago I had a ping pong table. But man, I haven't had one of those in forever. So to jump in here, I thought, this is cool. And then you, well, we've got two codes for the game for, for review. And then have you on the other side to play. Because you can play against the AI. But after a while, it's just like... Man, I man, it's just the computer, right? Yeah. You kind of want that you interaction. Can choose, you can choose how difficult the computer is. Too. Sure can. So that's, it's kind of a, it's, it takes the challenge out of it to me because if, I know if I dial it up all the way, I'm going to lose. I know sure. if I dial it up all the way to the bottom, I'm just going to sweep them. So that's not where the yeah. fun was for me. It was much better to play across the table with a real life person in a garage well, on a ping pong table. <laughs> and it looked like we were just <laughs> hanging out in the garage. It was really cool. <laughs> it was cool. The environments that they have, established for the game i thought were fantastic most of them are really good the way you play for one, that one uh, it was like um almost like in a like a gymnasium kind of thing in a with, sense with yeah kind of a I walkway around the top more like a cafeteria yeah it sounded right? like a cafeteria <laughs> for <laughs> being a gym and yeah. playing ping pong that was not the sounds you could hear there was phones <laughs> ringing there was people talking it, it sounded, like a, sounded like an office weird. recording almost they had one weird. in a park though i thought that was awesome. That was great. It was so cool. I think they've really done it well and done justice to kind of keep you inviting yourselves to go back again to play it. And it was so easy to go back to play. Yeah. It wasn't a hassle. There was no lock, no locking out, no lagging, no nothing like that. We did experience a little lag playing multiplayer online, but to get back into the game, we were instantly in. Mm -hmm. Now I went to go and play multiplayer without you. And I couldn't find anybody. No, it seems like it's a pretty desolate kind of land there. For the virtual reality is still just kind of not where we want it to be with popularity, where you yeah. see the saturation in all these games. It's it's hard to find those opponents. And I think that's a problem that a lot of VR suffers from. Yeah, it's unfortunate. There is five different areas to pick from, two multiplayer areas and an arcade mode, which is kind yeah. of like trick shots and things now, to help practice. I got really into the arcade to kind of just be able to pass the ball back to myself. That's how I, yeah. got, that's how I got used to it because sure. I was completely off. I didn't know my own strength. I was slapping the ping pong balls way out of the park. Yep. And uh, that arcade mode really got me with the accuracy, getting, getting just a little bit better. That's cool. Scott, you and I had a good time in VR Ping Pong Pro. What are you scoring this one? I had a blast with this. I can't really imagine how this game could add a whole lot other than paddles and ping pong tables, but you already do get that as kind of a customizable. Yeah, game. there are so skins in there too, I'm right? I'm there all the way at a nine out of 10. I have wow. a good time. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Obviously, we need more people in the multiplayer. I think we kind of help elaborate on growing that community mm. a bit more. You and I had a great time doing the multiplayer one on one to the point where I actually smacked my controller into a wall. <laughs> there was some collateral damage. There, there was a little mm. bit of damage there, man. When you come up with that spike, there's now a big dent in my wall. Either way, I had a great time. I'm right there with the nine as well. VR Ping Pong Pro is the true VR Ping Pong battle experience with fun locations, real world physics. Yes, you can even spin the ball. VR Ping Pong Pro was a blast. 
We just wish the multiplayer was more populated. Subscribe to never miss a video and help us by hitting that like button.